Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Um, if you're into fashion, luxury, fitness, cooking and home organization, uh, please subscribe to my channel because I do videos about three to four times a week covering these areas and uh, it seems that uh, a lot of you love my luxury and fashion videos so I'm focusing more on those areas uh, but if you or if you want me to do other uh, videos as well please let me know in the comments so I can cover those areas too but I do love all the areas that I mentioned um, before and um, you know today i'm going to share with you my 2019 wish list and uh, it is a very selective and uh, highly curated wish list because i do have a lot of items that i accumulated and collected over the past few years and i'm very happy with my collection but there are definitely pieces that are missing in my collection that i would love to add and I will let you know what are those items and I will tell you why I picked those items okay and uh, I have I used to have a huge collection of uh, uh, like Michael Kors, Kate Spade and Coach um, but I don't um, use them as much now anyways because uh, I have given them away to my family mostly and they enjoy those pieces and uh, I do still use uh, a, f a couple of uh, pieces uh, when I travel uh, especially when I don't want to lose my uh, luxury handbags and so I do use my uh, Tory Burch and Coach pieces uh, but I have uh, listed a few items for 2019 that i really want to explore and i really want to add to my collection um, so let's see what they are and the first item in my list is an hermes kelly or a birkin so i'm not sure about the size because i have never seen these bags in person i have been to the hermes boutique a few times but uh, they didn't have it in stock because I think I went during the holidays uh, in Paris or something like that and the lady said that uh, the workers are on vacation during that time and that's why they don't produce uh, many bags and they don't even have one in this place so I'm not sure if that is how it is usually uh, that they don't have even one piece in display but that was a situation the few times that I went um, so I would like to see them in person and I would like to pick the right size for me because I'm tall I'm 5'7 and I don't want to get something too tiny I want to get the one that is the right size uh, especially because it's a very expensive piece um, so the color is um, uh, I know that it's very hard to find these uh, items so I don't want to be too picky but I would like to like it to be a neutral color uh, mostly black or maybe a taupe I think they call it it's like a taupey color or maybe the brown which Hermes calls it gold uh, but I definitely want all of them in gold hardware because I love gold hardware and I wear gold jewelry most of the times um so i would definitely want to see them in person if they don't have it in the neutral colors then i don't mind going to uh, maybe orange because because hermes is famous for that orange color so you know the box uh the orange of the box um so you know i might uh, consider the orange uh, but honestly I haven't seen uh, these bags in person so I can't comment too much on the colors so I just want a bag that steals my heart and something that I could wear you know and use it very often to get the use of it basically um, so and the most important thing is that I want to get it in Paris so I'm planning a visit with my family to uh, to take a tour to Paris, um, Europe basically and uh, we would love to visit Paris and 
I want something um, that could stand as a beautiful memory when I visit Europe because uh, I have been wanting to visit Europe for many years and uh, Hermes is uh, something so special so I want to get my Hermes Birkin or Kelly from my Europe visit especially in Paris so I guess I'm making it more complicated uh, and making it more difficult to get this bag because there are very few chances of finding this bag these two bags in uh, Paris so let's see what happens but that's my first item in my wish list and um, the second item in my wish list is a Louis Vuitton monogram bag uh, in uh, leather combination black leather combination so i do have a palace clutch in the same combination but it is more of a crossbody size bag and i would like to have a bag in uh, a medium to large size not as huge as a neverfull but something that i could take to work like a medium size bag uh, because I love the combination of the monogram and the black leather so I did not like anything that they have currently and I hope that I'll find something that I love in future so that's my second item in my wish list and the third item in my wish list is a Givenchy Antigona bag in size small so I have had this bag in my wish list for a very long time. For some reason or the other, I haven't had a chance to buy this one. So um, the colors that I love are black, gray, or red, and mostly black or gray. Uh, I do have a lot of ba bags in black. That's why I'm debating whether I should get the gray or red, but that is my third item in my wish list because i absolutely love the silhouette of this bag it's perfect for work or casual day and uh, you know it's i think it's becoming almost a timeless piece lately so i absolutely love this bag. and the fourth item in my wish list is a cartier just include bracelet I think that's how you pronounce it uh, this is the bracelet that looks like a nail and i absolutely love that the design of it it is so simple so chic and uh, it's totally me i think you know it's like me as a bracelet um so i the only thing is it is so expensive and uh, i'm debating whether i should get this bracelet or get something custom made in india uh, because I could get like really good quality diamonds and pure, like 22 karat gold or an 18 karat gold bracelet. I know that uh, uh, they provide certification and you can resell it for you know a higher value or the same value and they use uh, D or E color with VVS clarity and uh, the diamonds in India are beautiful. So the only concern that I have here is the value of the piece compared to the price. The fifth item in my wish list is a Chanel Mini in rectangular size. So currently I own one in a square shape and I absolutely love that bag. Uh, but I would love to add a rectangular um, mini into my collection. Um, so preferably like a gray, red or anything, anything that steals my heart, I'm willing to add to my collection because I absolutely love the shape of the rectangular mini. And the next item in my wish list is a Burberry trench. Currently, I do own two pieces in Burberry outerwear. One is like a three-fourths length um, with a hoodie and uh, I absolutely love that one for bad weather days like when it's raining and stuff and I own one uh, that is uh, shorter like a uh, peacoat um, size and I use it for more spring or fall days but I would love to add one classic piece that you see in mostly the movies and stuff I would love to add that to my collection So the next item in my wish list is a Le Pliage tote. 
um, so I have to decide which size I want so I would like to try this item and see which size suits my body uh, better because the main reason I want to get this bag is for my gym and also when it's pouring outside I don't want to take my super expensive bags and that's why I want to get this bag um, so currently I use my Louis Vuitton uh, monogram the never full and I'm always scared that I might ruin the bag from the weather so I want to get the Le Pliage one for that reason The final item in my wish list is a custom diamond jewelry. So uh, I might uh, go to India, I might visit India sometime this year and uh, I'm planning to get some jewelry customized. And if you're not familiar with the jewelry in India, they can completely custom make it for you. And the diamonds they use are like really, really good quality, excellent quality. They give you certification, GIA or IGI certification, and you will be able to, uh, to sell them later in life. So if anybody wants to get more information on this topic, please let me know in the comments and I can do a video on that. But every time I visit India, I get some jewelry customized, mostly for office wear, you know, like the diamond studs and stuff. Um, and I have like some necklaces that I custom made and uh, I absolutely love them obviously because I custom made them like I ordered them to my liking so I would like to get some pieces um, custom made this time and that is why I was debating whether to get something like this or the Justin Clue bracelet so that is it for my wish list guys um, so let me know if you like the video and if you would love to get any details on any of the items that i mentioned and please like share and subscribe and don't forget to comment bye for now